All right, let's talk about beautiful eyes. Who are getting their eyes done? You know, with eyes, it's all ages. It goes from See, women and men. That. Yeah, women and men in the 20s all the way to, you know, the 60s. Because eyes are really the attention of the whole face. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, you know, when they say you look into someone's eyes, you look into their soul. So everyone wants to keep the eyes beautiful Absolutely. and young looking. Um, so you can have someone in the 20s come in with um, either dark circles underneath the right. eyes, and that's genetics. It's oh, not yeah. because of age or sun damage, it's usually genetics. Right. And there are treatments for that. Oh, that's good. And women can come in and can start noticing some fine crow's feet around the eyes, mm -hmm. and there are treatments for that. And if you start these treatments early on, you'll need less intervention later, and they look more rested and beautiful throughout the league. And more life. natural. And more natural. Oh, that's good. And men, why are men coming in for eyes? Uh, for eyes, same thing. Okay. Tired looking. Mm-hmm. Okay. And uh, non-surgical and surgical. So first let's talk uh, surgical. Yes. What are we doing surgically with the eyes? So surgery, most of the time when it's uh, surgical intervention for the eyes, mm -hmm. it's usually men and women who are a little bit older. Okay. So from their late 30s, mm -hmm. usually 40s and 50s, okay. when they have maybe excess fat pads in the lower lids, lots of excess skin, yes. and then that's when we do the surgical eye lift or the blepharoplasty okay. surgery. Okay, and that's upper lower eyelids? Upper and lower. Okay, and so a lot of people can get the skin flaps where it's hard to see, correct? Yes, okay. and if you wait long enough, and if, it's, if you're genetically predisposed to it, mm -hmm. you can actually um, have your skin flaps in the upper lids uh, cover enough of your eye that you yeah. can't you have a um, vision deficit. Very dangerous. And what about non-surgical side? And this, uh, I think, for what, more younger people? Usually for younger people. Okay. So. Um, and, I, and I think that is really growing by leaps and bounds. Yes. So like I was mentioning, it could be a young woman, a man in the 20s, and mm -hmm. they're noticing fine crow's feet. You can come in and get a very low bo dose of Botox and prevent those crow's feet from actually getting any worse. And actually, you can actually improve the way they appear. And you don't need a lot. And you mm -hmm. need to come in very infrequently at that age. So you think they don't need to go in in their 20s you gotta wait till you're older but you know that's good because then you don't have to do it all at once and you still have the movement exactly in the face, right? exactly if you'd asked me the same question 10 years ago yeah. I would have said oh wait till you right. notice the crow's feet but now what I've noticed is that the younger the patients are coming in right. the less they need okay that's good to know let's take a look at some pictures shall we okay all right picture number one what, what's going on so in this patient, she's a middle-aged woman, mm -hmm. and for her, she has heaviness both in the upper and lower lids and some fat pads, so she's had just her upper and lower lids oh, done. Yeah. And you can see how she looks oh, yeah. less tired. Very She much looks so. more vital, uh, more active, mm -hmm. um, less sleepy. Yeah, definitely. In the after photo, I mean, you can really see the crease back in her eye, the yes. upper eye. Yes, and That's she amazing. still looks natural. So my Very goal is to make them look natural and less tired and not to change the shape mm -hmm. of her eyes. She's got beautiful eyes. She does. Did you have to do anything else in that photo, like maybe a little Botox or filler with her? In her, that's all we did. Okay, that, that's great. Next photo. So this is, again, oh, yeah. a woman. This is a surgical uh, correction. Again, um, if you look at her, both her under eyes mm -hmm. and above eyes, mm -hmm. it looks like she has full eyes and some bags, and here her eyes are more bright and beautiful. Fantastic. That looks really good. Definitely you increase the crease on the upper. Crease in the upper and, and, no and the backs in the lower are really gone. What are the um, scars like on that in downtime for so eye procedures? So with, with the eye lift procedure, with the uh, blepharoplasty, I mm -hmm. also do that in the office. Oh, so you don't need to have it done under general anesthesia. Okay, good. Um, with local anesthesia and something by mouth to relax them. And so they need a ride yeah. home, but otherwise it's done in the office. Fantastic. And so this is a younger gentleman. And for him, oh, it's a little wow. more genetic. So he is maybe 30s, same thing, upper, lower mm -hmm, lids. Mm -hmm. And so if you open it up, you can see how his beautiful blue eyes are. Yeah, they are. They Very really nice. open up, yeah. Do you have to be a little more careful with the men, you know, uh, so you don't open them up too much? So that's exactly right. Okay. So I think men need to be treated differently than women. Mm -hmm. In men, less is more. Yes, absolutely. Everything has to be done subtly. And they need to look manly. I mean, that's my, my vision of what a handsome man is. Mm -hmm. He needs to still look like a man and not like a woman. So that's really important to uh, do everything with a light touch. Absolutely. And, and uh, scars go away in downtime? So I mean, scars, you... so with, uh, with the blepharoplasty surgery, the downtime is about eight to 10 days okay. where you're swollen and bruised and scars fade for six months. Okay. And they're nearly invisible once they heal. So same thing again. In her, it was just the upper and lower lids that were done. Yeah, that looks really good. I mean, very natural, too. And so when you are doing the um, upper and lowers, where are the scars? Because I can't tell where anything has been done. Y yeah, in this patient, the upper lid scars are along her crease, okay. the natural eyelid crease, and the lower lid is just beneath the lash line. That's fantastic. I mean, that looks so good. You can't tell. All right, next picture. So this is a patient that we were oh, talking wow, about when I said make more beautiful eyes. Yeah. And she's a very young, beautiful woman, but she didn't like the appearance of her eyes. Her 
eyes looked a little tired, okay. maybe like she hadn't had sleep. So this correction on the right is not with surgery, it is just with fillers. Again, Whoa. if you look at both the upper and lower lid, less hollowness, oh, you brighter got rid of the eyes, hollow. hollowness, see. and this is done with um, that's fantastic. With the use of okay. hyaluronic acid fillers, both in the upper and lower lid. That's fair. And one more for the same patient. Same patient. Oh, that's it. This is the last one. God, that, that is incredible that you just did that with fillers. With just fillers. Because she's pretty young, it looks yes, like. Yes, she's very young. Fantastic. All right. Those are good. All right. Great photos. For more information about Dr. Rajagopal, you can call 415-392-3333 or check her out on the web, sfcosmeticsurgery.com. Great photos. we got lots more coming up.